All right, congratulations. You bought a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, 6K, or 6K Pro, or you've been using it for a while and just need some better settings. Well, this is the video for you. We're gonna get straight to the point. But before, let me introduce myself. My name is Garrett Blucher, I'm a filmmaker out of Houston, Texas. I make videos just like this, helping you grow your passion and profits through video. So let's dive into it. We're gonna go through every single settings that I would put on this camera, that I do put on this camera, that I use. If you have any questions on why I'm doing something, put it in the comments and I'll explain it in a video later. But this one's gonna be straight to the point, just the settings that you need to have in your camera so you're ready for every situation. Let's get into it. I have, so today we're gonna to make these presets that will take care of your life that way, no matter what you need to film, if it's in 30 frames a second, 60 frames a second, HD 30, uh, 50 frames a second in HD or 120p. You've got everything already laid out. That way you can switch it on the fly and be ready for whatever situation you have. So let's start with preset one. Now, obviously you guys don't have these yet, um, but you will actually, let's go ahead and trash these. All right, so we currently don't have any presets, so let's fix that. This is gonna be no fluff, exactly what I would do in these cameras. So if you have any questions, put them down below on why I'm doing something, but I'm just going to assume that you're following along with me. If you need to pause, go ahead and pause. Whatever you need to do, I'm just gonna go straight through it. All right, go over to the record tab. Go Blackmagic Raw, constant quality, Q5. We're gonna go five by seven, or 5.7K and 17 by nine. Come over to the next frame. We're gonna go and film. We want to be in project frame rate 30 frames a second. We want to be able to record an off speed recording. Uh, we've got 30 frames a second. We want to go to whatever card is on there. So right now I don't have my USB in there, um, but that's all right. We'll just go SD. When we come over to the record, we don't want any detail sharpening. We don't want to apply the LUT and we don't want any time lapse. All right, that's it for record. We're gonna come over here to the LCD screen. That means it's this screen, not the monitor above. Okay, so we're gonna go display the LUT, yes. Um, we're gonna no zebra. We want focus assist on. Um, we want a frame guide to stay off. We want our grid, um, safe area guide off and false color off. HDMI screen, we want those same things, both. We are going to go in a two to one aspect ratio. We want 50% opacity. We want color lines for our focus assist. Focus assist level, we want medium. Focus color, red. Zebra levels at 95. We want our grids in thirds on the horizon. And that is it for that. Then we want a 90% area safe guide and we're gonna turn the anamorphic squeeze off. Come over to audio, camera left. We want a 50%, camera right, we want at 50%. If it's not already on there, just go ahead and find camera right and left. Next screen on the audio, we're gonna go 50% on everything and then audio meters, we want negative 20. Setup. Make sure you have the correct date and time. Um, I want it on shutter angle and 60 hertz. Um, time code drop frame, we're gonna leave that off. On our function one button, that's this button right up here. Okay, I have it set to toggle on the LCD and HDMI screen false color. That way I can get my exposure exactly how I want it gonna come over to the next screen actually my bad go back to function 2 have it on preset and for ISO for 400 that is the low portion of the raw native and then on f3 we're gonna do the same preset and ISO but at 3200 and that's gonna be the other native for Blackmagic raw coming over here on the third tab of the setup tab we're gonna have the tally light on LED brightness medium um, auto dim display off, dim display after one minute. Software, that's just what you have updated. Make sure you're up to date. If not, click the link right here. I've got a video on that. Um, playback, all clips, Bluetooth, turn that off. 
and we don't need anything there. Um, and these are all just resetting. So now let's come over to the LUTs, the last one. Make sure you're on Gen 5 film to extend video. Then we're gonna come here to presets. We're gonna add, and this is going to be 0, 1. And this is, we're gonna come back here. Make sure we're in 30 frames a second. Okay, so that's 30 over 30. Angle is 180. We're gonna crank this bad boy as down as far as we can go at F28. Um, ISO, we're gonna stick it at 400. White balance, I'm gonna go to 5000. That's just a nice medium in between. Tent, leave it at five. Everything else is good to go. So we're gonna come back to our presets. We're gonna add one, and this is gonna be 01. Okay, and we're gonna call this 30. And B raw. That's it. Okay, now let's go and make our next preset. Let's go back to record. Okay, this one we want to be in 60 frames a second, but in all the same settings. So all we have to do is come here. Now that off speed frame rate is coming in handy. That means that when we record in this, when we play it back, it's already going to be in slow motion, which is phenomenal. Okay, so that's all we have to do there. Leave all of this the same. Come back to these presets. We're going to add another preset. This is going to be 02. Okay, and this will be in 60 B raw. And update. Okay, so now we've got one and two. So when we click between them, now we're in 30 frames a second. Now we're in 60. Okay, let's keep trucking. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is create a new preset. And so this one, we're gonna come over to ProRes. We're gonna go all the way HD. This will be like in a scenario where we don't want the best quality because we don't need it necessarily. Um, we're going to go to um, ProRes, LT, and HD. Everything here stays the same. Everything here stays the same. We don't need to change really anything. Okay, we're going to leave it at 30 frames a second. And come over here to our presets. Let's go 03. This is 30. N, H, D, L, T. Okay, now we're gonna go back here and change the frame rate. So we're gonna go to as much as we can. So this would be our slow motion, right? So this will be in 50 frames a second. And this will be 04. 04 and 50 frames a second and H D L T. Okay, so now we got our four. We are gonna make one more, but very similar to these B raw settings. So we're gonna go back to all those settings, go back to record. We're gonna go and this 2.8K 17 by nine which is going to allow us to go all the way to 120 frames a second. Come back here to presets. And this is gonna go here to 05, 120. And then B raw. Boom. Okay, so we've got those five, and then I'm gonna make one more, which is similar to this HD, but this is gonna be like in the lowest quality possible. So we're gonna come over to our record tab and all the way to proxy. Okay. Then presets, we're gonna go here. This will be six. And this is 30. And HD. 
proxy. Boom. So here's your six presets. You can export them to an SD card, load them in other cameras, or if you're using someone else's camera, all you have to do is pop your SD card out and pop it in. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. That was all the settings for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, 6K, or 6K Pro. If you have any questions, again, drop them down in the comments below. If you're not subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.